Hey guys, I'm LB, and today I want to check out something called Enigma Prison. I saw this on Steam. It looks like it's an open world first person puzzle platformer. Now, you guys know I love first person puzzle platformers, and to see an open world one is very interesting. This game is not actually out yet, it's, it says the release date is going to be quarter one of 2017, and uh, apparently this went through green light, so that's cool. Uh, the description says, Combine the mechanics of four unique tools to explore a scientific facility and expose its secrets. Your playstyle will shape your adventure in this world full of mis mysteries to uncover. Learn with your mistakes and evolve to escape from this unique mind prison. Now, as usual, uh, I, this game does not run well on my computer, so I have turned everything down as low as it will go. And, uh... We'll, we'll just hope that things run okay, because normally this game looks a lot better, but yeah. So we can't continue. Let's try a new game. Let us start the demo. Yes, I should have mentioned that this is the demo. <laughs> this is a demo that you can actually download from Steam right now. This is a public demo. Anybody can download it and try it. Go and check it out. So yeah, I don't really know much about this game. I saw the trailer and I was immediately hooked. Look at this, we've got fizzlers and everything. Single direction barrier. Ooh, that's- that's cool. Got controls, that's bar right, so we have jump. Oh, that's interesting, so jump and hold, you can control how much you jump, that's in- that's- that's cool. Then we have a map on M. Oh! Oh! This is, uh... This is interesting. How do we go to stats? Wow, this- this game looks like it's gonna be quite a thing. Collections? Oh my goodness, information. Nothing here yet. Wow, this is, uh... That's cool, and then we have zoom on Q. Oh, That's cool. Okay, what is this? Information terminal. Single direction barrier. You can only pass through a single direction barrier from the green side. Alright. So we can't pass through it here. Yep, that's exactly what I expected. Fizzlers! Awesome. Directional fizzlers, at that. Let's see, this door is locked. Zero out of one lock. Okay, so. I guess we should just get started. I don't- is there a way to turn up the FOV? I didn't see that in the options. Maybe I didn't check all the- the tabs? Here we go! This is different options. This is not what I saw before. Let's turn up the FOV to 90, please. I cannot stand low FOV. Alright. Um, I'll also turn up the gamma for YouTube. And... That's- that's good. Turn to game. Alright. Much better. Got some stairs. Look at these pipes. I- I kinda like the- the architecture of this place. I'm sure it would look a lot better if I had the graphic settings at their default or the highest settings. Whoa, what just happened? What did I do? What did I accomplish? Must have done something. Okay, we've got an unlocked door. So yeah, like I said, this demo is free and you can try it right now. You can go explore the game. You don't have to worry about spoilers. You can experience it for yourself. And, uh, yeah. Go check it out. Because I am excited about this. Uh, what was the key to zoom Q? Chamber 1. Progress. Interesting. So, let's go look at this thing. You don't have the drone joystick, come back later. Mmm, interesting. These butterflies, what is with these butterflies? That's very mysterious. Butterflies. Oh, ma master cube. What? You don't have any tool equipped. Alright. Got an information terminal here. Breakable. Some structures can be destroyed by the explosion of the drone. Uh... Was I supposed to have picked up a drone already? Hang on. This is... This is unlocked. I feel like I maybe was supposed to have picked up a, a drone or something. Did I miss something back here? Let's go find out.
I don't- don't see anything. Oh, maybe I should have read this. <laughs> Completely walk past this. Learn to explore. Press M to see the map. Oh, alright, that told- that told me something I already knew from the bottom right corner. Alright, so, yeah, I guess I didn't miss anything. Wait, did I read this? Fast travel machine! Oh, I did miss this! You can use the fast travel machines to skip to places you've been before. Press left click to open the map and choose other fast travels you have found before. Awesome! That's great! Oh, look at that! I actually have feet! I didn't even look down. So, yeah. Oh, I tried to hit Q to sprint. I'm so used to that. Is there a sprint? Nope. Uh, shift and control don't really seem to do anything. C doesn't do anything. Alright. Doesn't seem to be a sprint or crouch just yet. That's okay. Let's see, what does this say? Chamber requirements. Sometimes a chamber has tool requirements. Remember to check that on the information panel. You can always choose another path and come back later. Wow, it's- it's- this is really cool, cause... You know, it's not often you find a game... Like... In the same vein... As Portal and Talus Principle, but where the puzzles are just there and you can come back at any time and you actually have to weave around. Like, I guess the Talus Principle is the closest thing to that so far. In terms of non-linear- non-linearity. There's that sound again. Alright, what do we got here? Chamber 7. Doesn't look like it needs any tools. Ooh. Mechanic catapult. <laughs> what is this? Trap door. Can't access the catapult right now, there's a trap door on the way. On the way? I think that should say in the way. Yellow catapults are activated by contact. Blue catapults are activated by jump. Okay, so that's a yellow one, but there's something blocking it. These are blue ones? Alright. Ooh, you can choose when to jump! Awesome! See, that's something that really needs to happen in Portal. Space plates just launch stuff without even your permission. Alright. What's this do? Ooh, visible timer on screen. Oh, so we can use that. Alright, can we rest? Yes, you can restart it. That's awesome. Whee! First puzzle solved! Awesome. What is this? Teleport target. Oh, okay. Tele- why is it called a teleport target? I guess, maybe it's used for more things than just the launchers. Oh, that's a permanent press. So, once you've pressed it, it's pressed. Alright, we've got... It looks like... Does that say that we don't need those things? Or that we do? I think that means we... Well... Why would they be listed if we didn't need- Oh, I bet the X's mean that we don't have them. Right, right, so that means we can't do it right now. Alright. Sensitive jump button. Hold space t for longer to jump higher. Yep, we already discovered that. Oh, I tried to sprint again by pressing Q. Because I, I normally map my sprint key to Q. Warning. Not available in beta. Ooh. <laughs> what do we have here? Teleport refill machine. You don't have the tool for this machine. Ah. Oh! Oh! That's why there's a teleport target! Because once we get a tool that allows us to teleport, we can just skip puzzles we've already done. That is cool. I like that a lot. That is a clever idea. There's so much stuff around here that we can't do yet. <laughs> I just saw the save icon in the top left corner. Oh, what is this? Exercise to open your mind. The same action yields the same results. Try to learn with your mistakes. Alright. Well, it says we should be able to solve this, right? Teleport targets. What does this do? Fast travel machine. Didn't it say... Oh, so, it said left-click, but I guess it meant while we're in the map. Yeah, so we can go back to here, and then... We press E, and then we go back here. Oh, the map! 
the map rotates... The map rotates based on what we're looking. That's- that's interesting. Can I... Well, I can move the map, but I'd have to leave the map and turn to rotate it. Okay. Cool. Hopefully they'll add an option so that the map always stays in the same orientation. For people who get confused by that. So, what do these blocks do? Can't walk through them, but... Ooh, this is... Can we fall to our deaths? What's down here? Wait, what? Oh, this is just floor. Alright, I didn't realize that this was a, an invisible floor that we could just stand on. What do we have here? More butterflies? Why don't butterflies leave this area? And go into here. Interesting. Hey, we've got something! Achievement unlocked, beta cube found! New stats update, got cube tool. Ooh. <laughs> what does this do? Ooh. So we can place cubes, kinda like Minecraft. And I'm assuming red means we can't? Let's try it. Yep, red means we can't. I wonder if we can go back... to... where we were with those other cubes. Let's go back real quick. Oop, I did not mean to zoom in, I keep trying to sprint. Music's a bit quiet, but that's okay. Oh, I hit the wrong cue. Let's go. There we go. Let's see, and there wasn't anything we could do here as far as I know. But let's head back up here, and there were some blocks. I wanna know if this is the right tool. Evidently not. Alright, but I know there's more in here, right? Hey, this is it! Look at this! So we can take all these guys... ...and... not these, though. What's in here? Got some more options. This area... is not available in the beta. Alright, fair enough. Personality microchip. Some inanimate objects can have a personality microchip. This, for example, is a very shy grid. Shy grid, what does that mean? Oh, my- my count for these cubes is in the top right, I just noticed that. Neutral zone, why? Oh, it's because this is what I'm pointing at. Wait, what? Oh, it's like antechamber! Hey! Alright, so you just have to not look at them. Right, that's why it said they're shy. When you look away, they're open, and when you look at them, they close. Alright. Uh... Oh, it... Ooh, what did that... Where did that, actually? Hang on. That did something somewhere else that I don't understand. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll just leave that there. Who knows what it did? Maybe it, like, did this? I don't know. Maybe it did that door back at the beginning. Wait, can we- can we just teleport from here? Hey, we can! We can teleport from anywhere! Nope. Still- still locked. How do I... I guess... Oh, okay, so I scroll, that's how. Scroll wheel. And what about just holding middle click? Ah, if I hold middle click, I can use the mouse to decide. That's nice. Okay, what am I doing? Let me open the map, and let's teleport... Uh... Here. Here we go. Being able to teleport everywhere is really nice. Alright, so... We have explored this area, got the gun, now... 
we head through here, right? I know there was... back here... Let me just double check. <laughs> back here, I think I saw some of these blocks. Yeah, up here. Let's look at this. Oh my goodness, so many blocks. Can I, uh... make a... 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 a step? Set myself up here? That's nice, it snaps for you. It doesn't do diagonals, but... that does get the job done. What's up here? Give me these. Give me this all. Hey, there is something up here. Look at that. So these are teleport targets. So we want to stair up on this side then. Oops. Eh. That should be good enough. Let's get up here. Is this another one of the shy grids? Or... Fast travel machine. Well, I've seen it, but I haven't interacted with it. So... yeah, it doesn't let me teleport it to just- teleport to it just yet. Teleport refill machine. Door. It's a locked door, actually. How would we open this? Doesn't- doesn't want to let me place things there, yeah. So I can place stuff... pretty much anywhere. Except, well, not there. I guess this area is just not for us yet, because I don't- I don't- I don't see a way... And pressing E doesn't do anything yet, I don't see a way to get this... this gate... to go away. I guess we would have to use the teleporter to be able to get in and out, and we don't have that yet. I'll leave the stairs here, because why not? It gave us plenty of cubes anyway. Now we can finally travel forward! I actually don't know how long this demo is. Might be multiple episodes. I'll figure it out. You can just look at the links of the video and whether it has an episode title. I mean, a uh, I mean, a uh, episode number, and you'll know. Item storage. Items sent to storage. Ooh! Items restored. Oh, cool. That's neat. Alright, so let's put this in here for now. Let me guess. If I take one of these... Yeah, it clears them. Actually puts it back where you got it from. That's... that's very nice. Alright. Yeah, look at that. Okay, what does this say? Cube tool. You can use the cube tool to shoot and capture cubes. Yep, yeah, figure that out already. Okay, so really what we want to do is just Oh, these connect. That's that's great. So we can just go around. Items are stored. Insert a cube projectile on a compatible switch to unlock doors and enable new paths. Like this. Yep. Ooh. Okay, well I stood on it, but I don't know what that did. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Can we- can we jump stack? Hey, it changes color! Look at that, so normally it's just yellow, but if we shoot under ourselves... Hey, we can jump stack! Look at that! That is incredibly useful to know, so we don't have the staircase. Okay, this is Kyrie's four things to unlock. Wow. And we found... Fast Travel Machine. So real quick, I wanna go back here. And this is still locked, right? Yep. Still locked. Alright. Let us go back here. Ooh, wait a sec.
Is that all we can do right now? I don't see anywhere else to proceed forward, just yet. Let's, let's, uh, let's head back to the start, and retrace our steps. Also look up, because... You know, it's easy to hide stuff by looking up. Okay, still can't deal with these, whatever these are. I don't think we ever figured this out, either. Like... I don't know what... Oops, come on. Heck, I don't know what the point of this switch is for. Hang on. Let me go see if the state of that other door changes. So right now- Oh, this is law. Okay, so... This switch is just for that door that we can't actually go in. So if I put this here... Yep, it unlocks, and we can't access it in the demo. That's fine. At least we solved that mystery. Anything in here... worth noting about? Does not appear to be so. Here. Well, I mean, there's these, but we- we want- Wait, they're smaller now. Hmm. I didn't even pick up on the fact that we make them smaller. We can get rid of these since we know how to jump stack now. There's- there's no reason for them to be like that. Does that look like a hole? Or is that just- no, it's just slightly different colored. Can't go there. Let's go back up here again. Hang on, I wanna see something. Does- does jumping? Oh, you can just press- you can just hit spacebar, you don't even have to click! That's nice. Yeah, I still don't know what to do... about this. Oh, you can also- I don't have to spam click, I can just hold right click. Wow, this game is already feeling really polished. That's really cool. Alright. And then this was just this room. Yeah. Can't... Can't do anything with those. I don't see anything else to interact with, really. I feel like we've explored all there is to explore. satisfying. Alright, so... Zero out of four. Like, it seems like we should be able to get in here, right? Oh, I- Wow, I'm an idiot! I did not even see that! Holy crap. I feel really dumb now. <laughs> oh, wow. Gotta look up! Alright, and then... Got- So these are ant lines, that's cool. Hang on, what else did this, uh... Didn't this... I don't know what that button did, but... Okay. Alright. Wait a second, so only the one on the right says it's not available in the beta. The others seem like they're available. This might be a longer beta than I expected. Alright. Well, guys, as always, I will see you in the next episode of this beta. And, uh, when we, if we actually play the game proper, we will have to start over. So, uh, just be aware of that. But, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Go check out this game if it's interesting to you. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.